The Eckert Monopoly Award is administered jointly by the ACM and by the IEEE Computer Society. The $5,000 prize is given for contributions to computer and digital systems architecture. The field of computer architecture presently encompasses the combined hardware software design and analysis of computing and digital systems. This year's winner, Matteo Valero, is a fellow of the ACM, IEEE, and an Intel Distinguished Research Fellow. He's also an uh, academic of the Royal Academy of Science and Arts. He's receiving this award for several significant accomplishments. His extraordinary leadership in the creation of the Catalonia Polytechnic University uh, European Center for Parallelism, a world-class computer architecture research center. His seminal contributions in the areas of vector computing and multi-threading, and for pioneering basic new approaches to instruction level parallelism. Mateo Valero will be honored for this award next week at ISCA, the 34th Annual International Symposium on Computer Architecture. He's unable to be with us this evening. However, we're happy to welcome the 1996 award winner of the Anchor Mopoli Award and an ACM and IEEE fellow, Yale Pat, who will say a few words on his behalf. pointed out Mateo couldn't be here, he arrives tomorrow, but we'll have a uh, talk at the ISCO Award Lunch on Tuesday. Uh, he asked me to convey a few comments in his behalf. Uh, before I do that, there are two things that I just cannot let this opportunity uh, go by without uh, reflecting on. This is a great night to celebrate the awards and the accomplishments of several great people, but it's also a night whenever we talk about greatness to reflect on four men who uh, passed away the last six months. It's been devastating to many of us. Uh, they were great. Uh, Richard Newton, who made tremendous contributions to CAD and other things, uh, died at the beginning of January. Uh, Jim Gray was lost at sea uh, in late January. Ken Kennedy, a, uh, one of the leaders in compiler technology, died in early February. And Samatis Vassiliadis, who was a computer architect, had more patents than any other IBMer. Uh, during his tenure at IBM, uh, died two months ago. So uh, when we celebrate greatness, we should reflect on these four men who were called certainly long before their time, their late 50s and early 60s. And were, what makes me want to comment most about them was that in addition, and in fact, even more important than their great accomplishments, was their sense of humility that all four of them were incredibly nurturing, caring people who worked tirelessly for uh, uplifting people that uh, uh, were not as talented as them. Uh, the French say noblesse oblige, uh, those who have the ability owe it to bring up those of us who do not, and these four men certainly uh, represented that. So I could not let this opportunity go without making that comment. Secondly, a few things about Matteo, which most of you probably don't know. Uh, he grew up in a very small village, a village of Alphamen, which is a population 1,300, just a poor uh, child in a, in a small environment, uh, 48 kilometers from Saragossa in the region of Aragon. Uh, he went on to develop the, what is uh, uh, easily the strongest computer architecture program in Europe and one of the strongest in the world. He was elected to the Spanish Academy of Sciences, the uh, Spanish Academy of Engineering, the youngest member of the Academy uh, at the age of 42 years old. Uh, he has asked me, and finally his, his comment in the uh, one minute that I've been. <laughs> Those who know me know I can't say hello in less than five minutes. He asked me to, uh, do, to say a few things. He wanted to thank his students, his colleagues, his collaborators, and most importantly, his mentor, uh, Professor Thomas Lang, uh, currently at UC Irvine, for providing inspiration for him to accomplish what he has. Uh, secondly, he wanted me to comment that he's a strong believer in real collaboration among, uh, between universities and industry, and real collaboration among 
the people around the world. Uh, he particularly wanted me to mention that he wanted to encourage young people to commit themselves to strong effort, strong enthusiasm, time, energy, and most importantly, ethical behavior. He says the results will absolutely be worth it. Thank you very much.